Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. You're watching Math Equals Music. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at an example using a solution of carbonate and a solution of bicarbonate. Let's read the problem statement. A 250 milliliter solution of one molar sodium carbonate and a 500 milliliter solution of 750 millimolar sodium bicarbonate are mixed. Calculate the concentration of ions in the solution. Assume the volumes are additive. Go ahead and give this problem a shot before moving on. Pause the video, get out a sheet of paper, do some calculations, and then follow along. Chemistry is confusing. So before we discuss the solution, let's talk about all the chemical species we're going to be looking at in this video. First, we have sodium metal, which when you look at the periodic table, it's element number 11. And we look at its molecular weight, it's about 23 grams per mole. So I'm going to use mu with the subscript of the species to denote the molecular weight of that species. So in this case, the molecular weight of sodium metal is 23 grams per mole. But we're not looking at sodium metal, we're looking at sodium as an ion, which means we're looking at the sodium atom, which has an electron extracted, so it has a positive charge. But the molecular weight is still the same. We're going to approximate it to 23 grams per mole. We also have carbonate, which is CO3 2 minus. So carbonate is carbon attached to three oxygens and has an overall minus two charge. So calculating the molecular weight of carbonate, we need to look at the molecular weight of carbon and the molecular weight of oxygen. So we have one carbon and three oxygens. So again, we're using mu to denote the molecular weight if you take a look at the periodic table, carbon is going to be 12 and oxygen is going to be 16 grams per mole. So 12 plus 3 times 16 is going to be 60 grams per mole. So 60 grams per mole is the molecular weight of carbonate. We also have some carbonate salts in their derivatives. So bicarbonate is HCO3 minus. So this is hydrogen attached to a carbonate. So this is going to be 61 grams per mole. So then what we can do is write this dissociation reaction. So this equation says that bicarbonate HCO3 minus in an aqueous solution, in other words, if we have a solution of bicarbonate in water, and it's going to dissociate into H plus and CO3 2 minus. Notice that the charges cancel out. So we have a proton with a plus one charge and carbonate with a minus two charge cancel out to give an overall minus one charge in the bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate, also known as baking soda, is a sodium attached to a bicarbonate. So this is an ionic compound, so sodium bicarbonate. So let's calculate its molecular weight. So we have sodium bicarbonate is going to be the molecular weight of sodium and the molecular weight of bicarbonate. So we just looked at those molecular weights. That's going to be 23 plus 61 grams per mole. Overall, the molecular weight of sodium bicarbonate is 84 grams per mole. And this also disassociates according to this equation. So this says that sodium bicarbonate in the aqueous phase, in other words, sodium bicarbonate in a solution of water. So this is going to remove one sodium. So we have Na plus and one bicarbonate. HCO3 minus. Again, notice that the charges cancel out. So plus minus get neutral. So this is an ionic compound. So that was sodium bicarbonate. We're also looking at sodium carbonate, also known as ash soda. So that's going to be Na2CO3. So now we have two sodiums attached to one carbonate. So we have the molecular weight of sodium carbonate is going to be two times the molecular weight of sodium plus the molecular weight of carbonates. So we just looked at those. That's going to be 2 times 23 plus 60. Overall, the molecular weight of sodium carbonate is 106 grams per mole. Sodium carbonate dissociates according to this equation. So this says that sodium carbonate dissociates into two sodium ions and one carbonate ion. So again, notice that the minus 2 charge cancels out with two of the plus 1 charges. 2 plus 1 charges and 1 minus 2 charge gives an overall neutral molecule. So these are all the chemical species we're dealing with. Next, let's talk about the equations. In a previous video, we discussed the molarity, which is defined as the moles of solute divided by the liters of the solution. This can also help us define the concentration in a similar fashion where we have C equals N over V, where C sub I is the concentration of species I, and N sub I is the moles of species I, and V is the volume of the solution. 
Now that we've gone over the chemical species, I encourage you to reread the problem and try it again. This is your last chance, so pause the video, try out some calculations, see how far you get. Assuming you gave that a go, I'm going to start by drawing some pictures. Here we have solution A, so I'm going to define this as sodium carbonate, and then here I have solution B, which I'll define as sodium bicarbonate. So let's start with solution A, sodium carbonate. The problem reads that we have a 250 milliliter solution of one molar sodium carbonate. So I'm going to define the V sub A as the volume of system A as 250 milliliters. Since we're dealing with molarity, I'm going to go ahead and convert this to liters. So I'm going to multiply by the conversion factor, which is 1000 milliliters per liter. So I can cancel out milliliters and be left with the volume of solution A as 0.25 liters. Next, let's look at the concentration, which reads one molar sodium carbonate. Recall the chemical formula for sodium carbonate. That's going to be Na2CO3. So recall that the brackets around the species denotes the concentration of that species. So the concentration of sodium carbonate is one molar. Next, let's look at the formula again. So remember that this reads that one mole of sodium carbonate dissociates into two moles of Na+, two moles of sodium ion, and one mole of carbonate ion. In my opinion, this is the trickiest part of this problem, so let's write this out. This reads that one mole of sodium carbonate dissociates into two moles of Na+, and one mole of Cl32-. So while sodium carbonate is equal molar to carbonate, we have this first equation. We know the concentration of carbonate is just one molar. And the sodium ion concentration is two times the concentration of sodium carbonate. So that's two molar. Let me just say that again. So if we have this equation, which says that one mole of Na2CO3 dissociates into two moles of Na+, and one mole of Cl32-, the concentration of sodium carbonate is one molar, according to the problem statement. The concentration of sodium ions is two molar, and the concentration of carbonate is one molar. Now, how many moles of sodium carbonate are in the solution? Well, if we have a solution of sodium carbonate, we're going to assume it completely dissociates. So we're going to say that there's actually no moles of sodium carbonate in the solution. They're all going to be the ionic species. Next, we're going to calculate the moles of the species in solution A. So how many moles of sodium and carbonate are in the solution? Well, we're going to have to use some equations. So if we said that concentration is moles per liter, we're going to multiply both sides by volume, cancel out so we can say that the moles of species is equal to the concentration of the species times the volume of the solution. How many moles of sodium ion are there in the solution? Based on the equations we just looked at, the concentration of sodium is two molar. So to calculate the moles of sodium ion, we're going to have N sub Na plus, so this is the moles of sodium ion in the solution, multiply the concentration, two moles per liter, by the volume. So we can cancel out these liters, and we're left with 0.5 moles of Na plus. Next, how many moles of carbonate are there in solution A? The concentration of carbonate was one molar, and if we want to calculate the moles of carbonate, that's going to be N sub Cl32 minus, the moles of carbonate. That's one mole per liter multiplied by 0.25 liters. Cancel out liters with liters. We're going to be left with 0.25 moles of carbonate. So now let's take a look at solution B. The problem reads that we have a solution of 500 milliliters of 750 millimolar sodium bicarbonate. First, let's convert the volume. If we divide 1,000 milliliters per liter, we're going to be left with 0.5 liters. Let's define the concentration of sodium bicarbonate as 0.75 molar. So I just changed 750 millimolar to 0.75 molar. Let's recall the dissociation equation. So we have sodium bicarbonate dissociates into one mole of sodium and one mole of bicarbonate. This time it's easier than last time because everything is just equal molar. So all the concentrations will be the same. So the concentration of sodium ion will be the same as the concentration of bicarbonate, which is the same as the concentration given in the problem statement, 0.75 molar. Next, calculate the moles of each species. So in this case, since the moles of sodium ion will be the same as the moles of bicarbonate ion, so we know the molarity is 0.75 moles per liter. We multiply by the volume, which was 0.5 liters. Cancel out liters, we're going to be left with 0.375 moles. We have a mixture of solution A and solution B. We said that solution A consisted of sodium carbonate and the volume of this solution was 0.25 liters, and the concentration of sodium carbonate was one molar, and we calculated the moles of sodium ion as 0.5 moles, and the moles of carbonate as 0.25 moles. 
We also define the solution of sodium bicarbonate as B, so we know the volume of this solution is 0.5 liters, the moles of sodium bicarbonate is 0.75 molar, the moles of sodium ion in this solution was 0.375, and the moles of bicarbonate is also 0.375 moles. Now when we mix these two solutions together, we're going to get a new solution. Let's call it solution C. The problem statement reads that the volumes are additive, but does that mean that we can just simply add the concentrations together? Well, let's think carefully about what are the species in the solution. First, we're going to have the moles of sodium ions. This consists of the moles of sodium ion from solution A and the moles of sodium ion in solution B. We don't know what that is yet. Well, we know the moles of bicarbonate are gonna be only from solution B, so we do know what the value is. That's 0.375 moles. And lastly, we have the moles of carbonate, which is 0.25 moles. That's from solution A. If the volumes are additive, we can add the volume of A plus the volume of B. 0.25 liters plus 0.5 liters is going to be 0.75 liters. Similarly, we can calculate the moles of sodium ion. So we know the moles of sodium ion from A are 0.5 moles, and the moles of sodium ion from B are 0.375 moles. Adding those together, we're going to get 0.875 moles. Now this gives us a complete picture of what's going on in this solution. So all we need to do is calculate the concentration of each species. So if we know the volume of the solution and we know the moles of each of the species, we know that molarity is moles per liter. So let's start with sodium ion. Concentration of sodium ion is 0.875 moles divided by 0.75 liters. That gives us 1.17 molar. The concentration of bicarbonate is 0.375 moles divided by 0.75 liters. That gives us 0.5 molar of bicarbonate. And the concentration of carbonate is 0.25 moles divided by 0.75 liters. That gives us 0.33 molar. And we are done with this problem. Let's recap what we did. First, we drew an image to try to visualize the problem. We defined our system and the variables and wrote down our assumptions. In this case, we assumed that the volumes were additive. Then we converted all the units so they were all consistent. So for concentration, we used molarity and for volume, we used liters. Then we wrote the dissociation reactions and we wrote out all the species present. So that included the sodium carbonate, the sodium bicarbonate, all the carbonate species, and the sodium ion. Then we wrote the relevant equations. So first we had the equation for molarity, which states that molarity equals moles per liters. And then we also did a mole balance. This stems from mass balance, which states that the mass is conserved. The way we did that was when we added the moles of the sodium ion in solution A and solution B. The last step was to solve all these equations and obtain our concentration for each of the species. That's it for this video. Hope you learned something. Check out these sources to study more on your own. If you like this type of content, please let me know what kind of videos I should make next and follow me on my socials. And remember, practice makes progress.